Well, so we have um, uh, joining us Otiko Afisa Jaba. She is the, the National Women's Organizer of the MPP. We're privileged to have uh, her in the studio. And thanks for joining me. And uh, we know that for all the things that have happened in the MPP, uh, finally they had um, the flag bearer of the party um, address a press conference. And following that, all, all cool heads seem to have been raining since, and that's a good thing. Uh, but though, uh, he announced <laughs> that there will be uh, a period of prayer and fasting for the party, but also to make sure that they put their issues at the back burner and have a forward march as far as uh, what the focus and objective is currently, to make sure that they get their primaries undertaken for the election of the candidates for the member of parliamentary uh, positions and also ultimately look forward to 2016. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. All right. Uh, so w when is the prayer and fasting period going to start? Um, you had even uh, early on announced that or advocated that uh, the beginning of the, of, the, of the last week. Yes. Thank you very much. And a good morning to all your viewers. It is a sad time for the new patriotic party, the loss of a life, and in such a horrific manner. I am talking about our brother Adams Mahama and uh, our grieving for his wife and his family and for ourselves has also manifested into other things that have not been so healthy for our party. And so in times of trouble, you go to God. And uh, in the Quran, it says that if you are standing there is trouble, sit down. If you are seated, lie down. If you are lying down, sleep over it till the morning. This is the time for the people of MPP to sleep over things, to mourn Adams, to have respect for our dead brother and for his family and children. It is the time for us to rise to the challenges of the implications of his death, horrific as it is. And so we launched the prayer and fasting week yesterday at our head office. Our leaders were there, including Nanado and our mother, Auntie Rebecca. And it is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, all over the country. And uh, at the 6, we congregate at our meeting places, whether it's the polling station or the constituency office or the regional or the national, to pray until 8. And we'll do this up to the 7th of June. And that day is the final funeral rites of our dead brother. So during this period, there should be no fighting, no WhatsApp talks, no media talks that are provocative. When you seek the guidance in the face of God, you cannot yourself then be at loggerheads. It means you have to be in reverence. Yeah, of course, you have to be. And you do it with humility because God helps those who help themselves. If you go to say, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 20, Joseph had talked about it that my people are troubled, and so we must pray and seek God's guidance. And I believe sincerely that, as the MPP has said that, our battle is the Lord's. Indeed, it is still the Lord's. And at this time of such great challenge, those of us who are privileged to be alive, who are privileged to serve the party, must rise to the challenge and help us to reflect, to rebuild, and then to restore hope. Mm. And that is Nanado's call for and peace. And if it's a prayer, you're talking about all forms of prayer, both oh, the yes. Muslim yes. Uh, and the Christian, oh, okay. of course. Islam and... Yes, both yes, Christians. yes. Everybody right. prays to the same God in different ways. So you're so, going to have formal congregated uh, activities to mark prayer? Yes, yes, or yes. wherever you are, you can pray? We have said that in your pulling stations, we have prayer meeting points. So that is where you will go. In your constituencies, we have meeting points and party offices, as well as the region. Yesterday, we converged at the national headquarters. So in Accra, for the national, we'll be at the head office today from 6 p.m. to 8 to pray. So wherever you are, we have party offices all over. We are asking that this is a nationwide program because it affects us all. The well-being of the new patriotic party is the well-being of Ghana. We are the biggest opposition party. And when it is not well with us, it is not well with Ghana. And the dream of getting Ghana on the right track is supported by the new patriotic party. Good speech from her. But you being an outsider and observing uh, and coming to the point where we even had the flag bearer and another Danque Kufado uh, uh, addressing that very 
a press conference and even announcing that, of course, advocated early on by Otiko early on in the week. Are you convinced that, well, beyond all that, the prayer is the key point, the key starting point to make sure no, the it, men... You know, Otiko, my sister, quoted the Quran, and then I'm quoting the Bible because the prayer is the key. Prayer is the master's key. You know, um, before I proceed, I would like to extend my deepest condolence to my MPP and Elijah Adams' family, which I happen to be part because my younger sister is married in that house. That he was laid, he was laid before he was taken to the cemetery. Uh, well, all of us were not happy what happened in Bogatanga. I was born and buried in Bogatanga. And when we heard about Adam's attack that eventually led to his death, I'm sure the whole Ghana were very sad. But well, in the Quran, we're also told that every soul will test death. So we've taken it in good faith. Even though the way Adam's went, nobody would like to experience this kind of thing. Not even on your foul, excuse my language. Uh, we grieve as a nation as a community because he belongs to a community which is the Muslim community because of what he does to our community we are still mourning and grieving because of even the last day that he passed on little children in around his area didn't even know he has passed on but they killed in front of his house to take their daily bread it's pathetic my my, my brother so um, we we grieve with the MPP and the entire nation and the Muslim community but come to what uh, my sister said about prayer. It is good. And I think ever since their flag bearer had a press conference, I'm sure some cool heads have decided, started to maybe evolve in the party. No hate speech, no uh, nothing abusive, or maybe castigating each other, which is good. Uh, she said that's the biggest opposition party. There's no doubt about that. That when uh, something like that should happen to a political party, I wouldn't say because uh, I'm a CPP. You refer to me as an outsider. Politically, yes. But if you look at the family-wise, I'm an insider too. So I think uh, prayer is, is very good. But one has to be really be committed to what he or she wants to do. If you are fasting, there are so many things that you don't have to do when you are fasting. So I'm sure my sister, who is leading that crusade, who is leading the prayer, will sort of talk to the members on the importance of fasting. Because you cannot just say, I'm going to fast, mm -hmm. when maybe you pass at a corner and then maybe... They, because you have to stay away from so many things. Because God listens to prayers that are clean, very clean. You stay away from so many things. Maybe there is some uh, uh, good person, one person among the Lord who are praying that God will listen to his or her prayer and see to the MPP's problem. Mm. MPP's problem, as she's saying, is all our problem because mm. the, it took about two weeks we are discussing MPP. We've forgotten about the, 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 you see, like the fourth week. For, you see, and then it, 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 we've forgotten about all the sufferings that we are experiencing, the doom, so the hardship, everything mm -hmm. has gone because of, but I'm not saying the death of uh, 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 my brother should just be wiped away or maybe pushed under the carpet. It's something that happened that nobody in his right senses will do this to a fellow human being. So we condemn it. The CPP, we issued a statement by our chairman and leader. We are not happy about it. If you disagree with somebody or maybe you have a uh, problem with a person, that shouldn't be the result. Okay. So I think uh, we are with them in prayers because if it's anything at all, uh, that if uh, somebody, if your uh, uh, this is somebody's uh, beard is burning, you have to start looking for water to put on yours. Maybe you don't know the next thing. Uh, but we are praying that there will be peace and sanity in the party because what we saw was not good and the aftermath was too bad. Great poli political so tradition, Dankwa Buzia Dumbo, uh, biggest opposition party, you've been in government for tremendous achievements while in government, etc. But prayers alone won't do the trick. Um, <laughs> I also I, said that... Okay, as you're praying, what will you be doing? God helps website? those who help themselves. Sure. Okay. This is a time that the leadership from the police station are being tested. 
when there are problems, that is when you rise to the challenge as a leader and give direction to the people. And so the beginning of peace is prayer. Prayer and the peace process is not a one day event. It is a continuation. And that continuation will come from all of us as people who love this party. Others have died for us to be here today. The Dankwes, the Dombos, the Dubuahens, the Ali Mohammeds, the Adams, my father. And a lot of polling station people have died. And so today, we are being challenged. I plead that the people of Ghana will bear with us. You see, the pain of the death, the horrific death, was so shocking that we were thrown into confusion. And so our, our mourning, our grief, has not been the best. But who knows how grief will take which way. But now, God's intervention is in. And so, part of the process is that when you are praying, you do not insult somebody else. Not on the WhatsApp, not on the Twitter, mm -hmm. not on the Facebook, not on the radio, not in the party offices, not in the market. And all this communication has gone out to anyway. everybody. Our father, our leader, Nanado made that comment. <laughs> our leader, um, President Kufuor, former president, also made that comment. It is divine intervention. And when you seek divine intervention, you must comport yourself. The instructions from the leadership is very clear. Psalm 122 is what Nanado finalized it. Let there be peace in Ghana. Let there be peace in MPP. Let there be peace in the hearts of all of us and in Adams' family. And we who are privileged to be leaders must not be the ones that will bring about any fatalistic divisions in the new patriotic party. Others have died that you and I will continue the battle. And so there will be a ceasefire. Whether you are a child, whether you are an adult, your talk, the tongue, blesses and it curses. Your tongue must not be the tongue that ignites confusion. Your tongue must not be the tongue that causes uh, divisiveness. Your tongue must not be the tongue that brings about more divisions. It must be a tongue that brings joy, that brings peace. That is leadership. And all those who are talking in a way that will not bring leadership, may the Lord tame their tongues. May the Lord tame their tongues. This is a critical moment for Ghana because of our numbers, because of our position in politics. We are here to make sure that Mother Ghana achieves its dream. And the people who are leading the party today have a responsibility to ensure that that dream is fulfilled. Let no one think that at a time like this, they can come in and do what is not right by the new patriotic party. Mm. At a time like this, you are born to do what is right by your party, by the family of the dead, and by Ghana. Well, great speech. And I stand no, but, but in terms of, I'm having good on behalf of, of my hmm. party. And because it's a critical time, hmm. and as the mother of the party, I am telling all the children of the new patriotic party, you must heed the word of our leader. This is not the time for any more talk against each other. This is the time to stand and be counted as a leader, whether you are young or old. Stop the fighting and look at the people of Ghana. The fact that they are seeking us to stand and speak for the voiceless, to stand and be the checks and balances of Mother Ghana, that we may do the right thing by Mother Ghana. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I wanted to ask you whether you have any advice for the party, because now everybody is advising the MPP, but they, they seem to have taken the right uh, road, and we hope that uh, we'll, we'll Our battle well is the Lord's. Yes, the battle is the Lord's. Okay. <laughs>